Right, for this video, I'll be working through question three of the level three 2016 waves exam. Right, question three, diffraction gratings. Moana is doing an experiment in the laboratory. She shines a laser beam, a double slit, and observes an interference pattern on the screen. The diagram below shows the experiment. Moana measures distance between the adjacent bright spots, maxima, and finds they are one centimeter apart, or 0 .1, 0 0.01 meters apart. The slits are 1.28 times to the negative four meters apart, and the screen is 2.1 meters from the slit. So let's just write, that is L, that is D, um, if you've got your formula sheet, you'll notice that n lambda is equal to dx over l, or n lambda is equal to d sine theta. And we'll come back to when to use those ones. But, first question. Show that the wavelength of the laser light is 1.6... No, 1 6.1 times 10 to the negative 7 meters, that's 610 nanometers, and that is red light, if you've got a laser, well, red laser is usually 650, 632, but whatever, um, some of them are 610. Right, so we not don't have an angle whatsoever, so we're probably just going to have to use this formula here, n lambda, oh, n lambda is equal to dx over L, um, the slit separation is is, what's the slit separation? There it is, D, 1.28. So, and, and we're going to do, use N equals 1 um, just for the first maxima. Um, just because, so if, you, if you've got the maximas here, that's a centre 1, that's N equals 0, because um, there's no path difference. Then we've got 1, 2, and then on the other side, 1, 2. Um, we're just going to use the distance from the central maxima to N equals 1. So N can just be equal to 1. Um, so, 1 times lambda is equal to 1.28 times 10 to the negative 4 um, times the distance between the bright or the central maxima and the first bright spot. Um, yeah, let's just figure that out actually. Distance between adjacent bright spots, yeah, so it's point 0 0.01 divided by the length. 2.1 meters, and that actually does give us 609 um, nanometers, or it was a 610 times 10 to the negative 9 um, meters. That should be a 9. Right, I like using engineering form just because it makes sense for lasers. Um, Moana replaces the double slit with the diffraction grating in the same position. The diffraction grating has 500 lines per millimetre. Calculate the angle between the central antinodal line and the first antinodal line. Um, so antinodal means the first bright spot. So let's just put that in there, bright. Right, so another tricky thing with this is, so your formula n lambda is equal to d sine theta, because we're trying to find the angle. We've got, we don't have d, we've got lambda, because that's the uh, laser light there. n is just going to be equal to 1, because it's just the difference between, or it's just the distance from the centre to the first antinodal line, which is when, if we go up to here, there's the centre, and that's the first antinodal line, or the first bright spot. Um, if it was the first dark spot, that doesn't really entirely make sense, but yeah, it would be n equals a half, um, where it's the darkest right. So the hard part about this is finding out what... Um, what D equals. So they've said D is equal to 500 lines, so I'll put lines there, but 500 per millimetre. And what I want is I want metres, so I want metres per line. So I want to find out you know, the distance for one line. So I'm going to get I'm going to basically, to find out what, you know, metres per line, to find out the actual distance of just one line, um, all you really do is you flip this here. So millimetres um, is 0 0.01. So, in other words, D is equal to millimetres. So I'm going to flip this over. So I'm going to go millimetres, or, or metres, I should say, over line. So I'm going to go 0 0.001, that's millimetres, over 500. And that gives me 
2.0 times 10 to the negative 6. And that's a reasonable number. It's, the slits need to be quite close together. Um, so that's, that's the, the distance between, between um, the, you know, the slits and the diffraction grating. Um, right, and from there everything else is easy peasy. Right, let's rearrange. Um, I'm going to move that D under and I'm going to take the inverse sine of everything. So lambda is equal to inverse sine um, N, N lambda over D. And that, once you plug that into your calculator, is 17.5 degrees. I don't think I need to put the numbers in for you to see what I'm doing. All right, explain what would happen to the distance between the bright spots on the screen if the laser short source is changed to one with a shorter wavelength. Right, so we got sine lambda is equal to, uh, sine theta is equal to n lambda divided by the distance. Right, the distance in the, the first maxima um, we're going to keep the same because we're just trying to work out what happens when we change the wavelength um, to the angle. So let's just say, like, so we can see that straight off the bat. If we decrease the wavelength, the angle is going to decrease. Um, you can see that from the formula straight away. So if lambda decreases, we'll just say that now, theta will decrease as well, will decrease, decrease as well, as well, which means, let me spell this correctly, the bright spot, spots, will get closer, get closer. Um, and then we we'll just write N and D are constant, because they are, they're not going to change. Constant. Right, there we go. So that pretty much answers that. Last question. So I have the actual colour. I printed it out in colour and then I didn't realise that uh, I printed the second one in, uh, in black and white. I normally do it first so I don't actually know what I'm doing. Right, so Moana then shines the white light in diffraction grading. The pattern she sees is shown below. Um, explain the pattern. Moana observes your explanation should include why the centre of the pattern is white, why the coloured spectrum, why is there a coloured spectrum on each side, and why there are dark regions between the white and coloured regions. So if we just go back to the coloured thing, you can see you get a rainbow with uh, violet being close to the centre and red being further away, um, and then obviously a white spot in the centre. So let's just answer the first one. Um, let's put a star or a bullet point. I like to do bullet points. The centre pattern um, is white as there is no path difference. There is no path difference. There's a difference D. I need to move this up a bit. F F E R N C E. So all. Um, just put lambda for wavelengths constructively constructively interfere fear giving white light white light and you might say what is white light you ask well white light is a combination of all the colors so if you have all the colors combined um, you're going to get white light and there's a pretty nifty video by Veritasium um, where he goes outside with, like a, with a cardboard box with a diffraction grating um, and it's pretty fun if you make it at home just get like a, a few hairs out of your head make a diffraction grating from that um, and you'll, you know, you can see a diffraction pattern um, yeah, anyway, so um, the colour spectrum so colour spectrum spell it the New Zealand way spectrum at n equals to 1, 2, 3, etc. Um, because, why is it? Um, larger wavelengths um, diffract more than smaller smaller wavelengths, and you remember from year 12, um, if you do waves, you'll know that the 
how much that effect depends on the difference between the wavelength and the and the slit spacings or the or the or the gap. So if your wavelength is very 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 close to the size of the gap, you'll get maximum diffraction. If your uh, wavelength is larger than the gap, uh, you won't actually get through, um, and then no waves get through whatsoever. Um, and if the wavelength's really 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 small, um, it'll all get through, and you won't get any really diffraction at all. So because uh, we've got smaller, right, so from um, n lambda equals d sine theta, we, that's a terrible theta, n and d are constant, uh, constant, constant, um, we've got violet, closer to the center, to the center, center, and violet is 14 nanometers. That's really blue, but whatever. Um, and red, closer to, to the outside, outside. And that's 650, that's 650 nanometers. Um, the dark regions, I'll just have to skip ahead because my students are about to come in. Regions uh, where visible light light is destructively in interfering. Which, uh, I'll just spell it correctly. Light is completely out of phase. So completely, completely out of Phase causing destructive interference. Destructive interference. I.e., um, n is equal to 0 0.5, 1.5, oh, we can see that, 2.5, etc. So you'll still actually get like UV light and infrared light um, in those dark regions, um, but not visible light. <laughs>